You know it's all good no matter what it is all good welcome to the spice of life variety show because we want to sprinkle a little spice in your life we certainly bring you greetings from the west angeles church of god in christ where bishop charles c blake mrs may l blake elder marion green and even mrs green are our leaders we are so delighted and honored that you have tuned in and we don't take it for granted Please do grab your pen and your paper, for you definitely will want to contact our guests. At the conclusion of the show, we will give you our email address, phone number, B.O. box, etc., 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 just for you to contact us. Please know that we love you, and we are thanking God for our time together. I would love to introduce to you a very royal individual, mm -hmm. a precious <laughs> individual, affectionately known as Lady D, Lady Deborah <laughs> Callahan. Lady D, how you doing, girl? Oh, I'm wonderful. You fine? Oh, can't, can't complain. You always are very charming. I am so <laughs> blessed, thank God. All right. <laughs> so, what's, what's, what's going on today? Well, today we have a very exciting show, The P Factor. P Factor. P. You got to learn about those peas. I'm not going <laughs> to give it up before then. Oh, okay. Because we have someone who's going to tell us all about the pea factor. <laughs> <laughs> much better than you and I can Oh, that's try. right. <laughs> that's right. But I know it's something that we know very much about. And that's something that we try to do mm -hmm. to maintain those pea factors in our life. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I Well, then in that case, then I want you to introduce our guest. Our guest is Pam Paul. Pam Hello. Paul, welcome to the Spice of Life. Hey, I am glad to show. be here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> happy you, to have you. Dr. Tanya and the beautiful Lady, uh, Lady D, D. Yes. right in the yes. house. Yes. In the house. Amen. And as I told you, that person is going to tell us all about the P-Factor, <laughs> none other than <laughs> Pam Powell. And I'm just excited about having the opportunity. Thank you all so much for inviting me. Wonderful. And just so you know who Pam Powell is, mm -hmm. she's a professional celebrity, mm -hmm. speaker, minister, wow. entrepreneur, journalist. You still saying it? Motivator. <laughs> success coach and author of the newly released motivational CD, The P Factor. The P Factor. Hey, A powerful presentations factor. reach hundreds of thousands of businesses, business professionals, entrepreneurial, civic, and church audiences. Ms. Powell's dynamic delivery ignites her listeners to a renewed commitment to excel. I want that. I do too. Mm -hmm. Previously featured as an up-and-comer by Price Waterhouse and Black Enterprise. Oh, she wow. was most recently named a woman of essence by, guess what, Essence Magazine. Not that Essence oh, Magazine. That <laughs> essence magazine. Oh, my goodness. Her combined insights from the worlds of corporate America, entrepreneurship, education, politics, religion, and social service culminate in an exhilarating message on winning as only a unique communicator like Pam Powell can. Mm, I'm excited. As she orates with insight, humor, heart, and passion, her audience responds, respond with renewed enthusiasm, hope, and commitment. People on the verge of giving up are inspired to reach their goals and dreams, and youth are challenged to become winners and role models. That's, that's Pam that's Powell. That's Pam, Pam Powell. Oh, yes. Well, to you, our audience, we want you to know that you, you. and both Lady D and myself, we're going to sit back and we're going to just sit at the feet of Pam Powell and let her share the P factor. Because we want to know what this P 
P -fact. Dr. Oh, is yes. all about. So, fam, please take it away. We're at your feet. Hey, hey, all hey. Right. Thank you all so much. I love that introduction. <laughs> I kind of want to hear it again, but I give God the glory and the honor uh, for having the opportunity to be here with such awesome women of God. Uh -huh. But I just want to say the P Factor is the recipe oh, that will allow you to experience the thrill of victory in your life that's rather right. than the agony of defeat. Okay. Uh, no matter what you're going through. Now, see, we all are going through something. Uh -huh. yes. Every day we either wake up into a problem or coming out. Oh, but yeah. the P factors, uh -huh. it's a recipe. Okay. And there's that recipe? seven <laughs> ingredients in that recipe. I'm hungry. Okay. Okay. You ready recipe. for it? <laughs> okay. Hope it's enough for both of us. I tell my folk now, it's not a new song or a new dance or nothing like that, but it's a new recipe that'll okay. change your whole life. Okay. It's not a new email or a new website address, <laughs> but it's something that will allow you to have a life that would be greater than you've ever had before. Mm. Yeah. You know, I think about it as something that our foremothers and our forefathers used to help keep hope alive. Okay. You know, it's what uh, Michael Jordan used in his slam dunk. Amen. Okay. <laughs> you know, it just allowed people to get to where they needed to be. And I believe that these P factors have these seven ingredients that they possess. Oh. And it keeps them fighting no matter what the situation might oh. be. Oh. So you're saying, okay, Pam, we heard enough of yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I want to know about P factors. <laughs> now, I must warn you, you can't just use one or two of them. Okay. Or three or four of them. Okay. You got to have all oh, seven. seven of them. Okay. And seven represents completion. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes. So if you want to be complete, let's take all seven. All right, all <laughs> now, the first one I want to tell you about is be positive. That's the per first P factor. Positive. Okay. Be positive because the Bible says, right, that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Okay. So if we think negative, guess what? We get negative. Oh, yeah. mm. So we got to wake up no matter what the situation is. And I know it's hard sometimes. <laughs> Very but hard. we got to see that there is a bright side oh, somewhere. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so yes. by being positive, we got to continuously every day to recite affirmations to ourselves, right? Oh, yes. I mean, even the Bible, I think that's the greatest way to check out affirmations, right? Mm -hmm. Many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of them all, okay? Yes. Or maybe one that says, I'll win. Why? I tell you why. Because I have faith, courage, <laughs> oh, and enthusiasm right. <laughs> that today I'll meet the right people in the right place at the right time <laughs> okay. for the betterment of all. all I right. see opportunity in every challenge. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm terrific at remembering names. <laughs> when I fail, I look at what I did right. All that's right. right. Not at what I exactly. did wrong, because right. I have clearly defined goals. Mm. I never listen to anybody more messed up oh. than I am. <laughs> I'm a winner, I'm a contributor, and an achiever. And I believe in me, and most importantly, I believe in God. Because with Him, all things are possible. Oh, yes. See, that's the positive attitude that you got to have each and every day. Exactly. I mean, you got to be so positive that, you know, nobody can understand how you're ticking. Mm -hmm. But see, all I know is that if you can, hey, have a, as they say, have have a beating going on and you can still be smiling oh, you got yeah. a positive attitude <laughs> oh, yeah. because you know what your attitude determines your, your altitude, altitude. Mm -hmm. oh, and I don't yes. know about you but I want to go high, 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 high. Oh, yes. <laughs> so I tell my friends when you put on that positive aroma then what happens is you allow people that are positive to want to connect to you because mm -hmm. you know what nobody wants to follow a dull oh, disillusioned no. frustrated I know I don't. Baby. Do I don't I don't you know I'm allergic to no. negative folk oh, yes. so when I get around negative folk that's what everybody needs to start doing just start sneezing so excuse <laughs> me but I got an allergy <laughs> to negative and I gotta go <laughs> the first thing is positive about whatever it is you want in life or whatever you want the circumstances to turn out to be just have a positive attitude that it's going to work out mm. and positive feels so much better than negative <laughs> oh tell that's me that's a about good it. feeling when you're tell positive <laughs> if you ever been negative anytime that's yeah. not a good feeling i mean no. you, you, you mm -hmm. just cry you get depressed exactly. and so many people today you find are depressed and worried and they're suffering from anxiety and stress and all those things but if they just put on that whole arm of god oh, yes. you know and begin to believe Oh, in the yes. power of Hallelujah. God, then guess what? They will have that positive attitude. Yeah, I mean, yeah, think yeah. about Job mm -hmm. and all the things that he went through. His friends turned their back on him. Even his wife said, yes. you know, you need to curse mm -hmm. God and die. But guess what? He Can't stayed positive, and with that, Hallelujah. God restored Job more than oh, he ever yes. had. I feel like marching oh, yes. now. <laughs> Let's march. Let's march. Let's put the P on the positive. All right. But That's... now you got to have P factor number two. Okay. okay. Got to be passionate. 
Passionate. Okay. Oh, yeah, that got to be like okay. fire. Shut up in, in your, your bones. bones. That All whatever right. it is, your goals, your dreams, whatever it is that you want to accomplish in your life, okay. you got to wake up with the fire that no matter what, you just going to keep on pressing on. Mm -hmm. okay. See, I tell folk I'm pressing on the upward way. Yes. <laughs> New heights I'm gaining every, every, day. every day. Still praying as I'm onward by our Lord, plant my feet on high ground. Right. See, oh, you yes. got to press your way through. Yes. Oh, and yes. you got to have the passion of knowing that if you just keep on fighting, you're eventually going to win. Mm -hmm. but because think about it, you know, there's passion on your faces right now. You could tell that Dr. Tanya is passionate oh, yes. about oh, her work yes. in ministry. <laughs> She's passionate about the message going across in media oh, about yes. the goodness of God. I mean, that's passionate. Oh, and yes. I see it in your smile and all the great things that I heard that you've done in the school system. Oh, Lady you. D, I know you have to be passionate. <laughs> Hello. I mean, when I'm saying, oh, yes. you know, you wrote your own synopsis for a school. That's oh, yes. passion oh, yes. when you want to get out there and help other people mm -hmm. reach their goals mm -hmm. and dreams. Mm -hmm. Because I truly believe that success in life is not measured by what you do. Mm -hmm. But it's about what you do to help others. Oh, or let's help somebody. Oh, I, yes. like I, I like that. I like that too. And see the passion to just keep on going and keep that glow. Mm -hmm. That's going to get oh, you yes. where you need to go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. think about people in this country today who are very successful in all that they've done. I mean, look at uh, Bishop uh, Blake. He's oh, very yeah. passionate, passionate. Oh, about definitely. the people. And look how God has elevated him. He comes him. across so easily. Yes. Oh, yeah. and, and then you come across a common name like Oprah Winfrey. You know, <laughs> she's passionate. Mm -hmm. And with her passion now, she's creating her own name. Network. Oh, yeah. yes, so yes. passion is the key. Yes. So number one is what? Be positive. positive. And number two be is passionate. be passionate. And, guess and what? I gotta go Just ahead. like you said, I can see now how you gotta combine those. You can't be passionate if you're not positive. Amen. Amen. You gotta have both of them together. I can see it. I okay. take some fun. I'm thing. making I'm cooking. I'm not a good cook, but I'm cooking this recipe. I'm preparing <laughs> this recipe. Oh, oh yeah. The pressure cooking. I you got the on. first two together. Okay, keep <laughs> going. And then I gotta tell you something real funny about that passion, right? You know, I, I look at my husband now. I've been married to him for 23 years. Uh -huh. And I can remember meeting my husband one day at a political rally. And uh, that was about 23, 24 years ago. And uh, he's a, he was reverend and all that and all his reverend gear. And he kind of <laughs> looked at me and I looked at him and we smiled. But, you know, he's a preacher and uh -huh. all of that. He couldn't really act like he wanted to talk to me. <laughs> so I know he wanted to. So what the sister did, I asked the sister next to me as well, well that single brother be preaching on Sunday morning. <laughs> Because somehow I was going to show up. You know? All right. And I went to church, and every time the brother preached, I said, hey, man. <laughs> and then yeah, the you know, the like, guess who's coming to <laughs> That's called passion. That's passion. And I tell you, he's been oh, coming yes. to dinner for 20 years, except I don't cook too much no more. But that was passion. That's good. So whatever That's you want right. in life, just get passionate, passionate enough about, about it that you will fight for Okay. No That's matter what. Yeah. Okay. We're going to the third ingredient. We got no okay. Okay. Take that one. Definitely. Okay. You got to be persistent. Oh, persistent. Okay. Remember, it's not over till it's over. Mm -hmm. Hello. And if you can look up, guess what? My friend Les Brown says, you can get up. Get up. Okay. So the thing about it is persistent. You know, you just got to keep on fighting the fight. Mm -hmm. It gets very difficult sometimes. Mm -hmm. But you just got to keep running the race. You know, when we were little and we were growing up in school, they told us about the, the story about the tortoise and the hare. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And if you remember, oh, yeah. the hare was oh, ahead yeah. in the race. And that's what we taught our kids. Uh -huh. But eventually, uh -huh. guess what? The turtle <laughs> caught up, up <laughs> because he never gave, gave up. up. So I challenge folk, no matter what you're going through in life, Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. keep on being persistent. Mm -hmm. You know, the job that you want or oh, the yes. new career that you want or the family that you're mm -hmm. dreaming and thinking and asking God for. Just don't give up. Mm -hmm. Because if you give up, then you've given up hope. Oh, yes. And persistence requires hope. Oh, hope. Oh, so yes. just keep on marching. Right. Keep okay. on fighting. Oh, yeah. look, look at Dr. Martin Luther King. We just <laughs> celebrated you oh, know, yes. this the other day. Look at him. He was persistent. Oh, and because definitely. of him, so many great things have happened, happened to, to all of us in this country oh, today. Yes. So I thank God for persistence. Oh, Another thing, though, ingredients number four is you got to be patient. Patience. Oh, now tell me that. Now like that. Oh, oh, now y'all lost. I most most word. folk don't want to talk about that word. <laughs> that would absolutely that wait. blow know, your mind. I know. Wait. Oh, no. Don't say that for like that. But I, I had a patient mom, and I tried. That's my daily prayer to be patient like my mother. I couldn't believe that patience that she had. <laughs> And I'm trying. It's difficult, <laughs> but I'm trying. That's a good one. And I you like know, that. it's really difficult because in life, we want things right now. Oh, right yes. now. You know, I can remember when I was diagnosed with breast cancer mm -hmm. and I had taken all the tests and had all the surgeries and all the radiation and all the treatments. 
I was so impatient for the doctor to give me that report that says, hey, you know, uh, you, you're cured mm -hmm. of cancer. Mm -hmm. There's no more cancer. Mm -hmm. So every day, you know, I was thinking he was going to call and he didn't call. Man, I was just, oh. you know, but you can't do that. <laughs> That's right. Because yeah. weeping man do it for a, a night, night and joy, joy comes in the morning. morning. And the thing about patience is that you just got to wait on the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to wait yeah. just and wait. wait. And, and wait, just like and Joe. Wait, wait, just, just like, like Joe. Joe. Uh -huh. okay. But one thing I learned patience through the Joe. patience mm -hmm. that he's an on-time God. Oh, yes. He may not come when you want him, oh, but he'll on be time. there just on oh, time. Right. That's what I'm and by having the patience, eventually God said, "Hey, you just need to lead us along. Oh, yes. Let it go. I'm going to take care of you." Right. And one day I got the call when he said, "And the doctor say you're cancer-free." Oh, but that's yeah. patient. That's yeah. See, I had the positive attitude mm -hmm. that I was going to be cancer-free. Mm -hmm. I was passionate that I was going to get that yes. cure, and I was persistent mm -hmm. in getting the treatment yes. and oh. doing what I needed to do. Exactly. But I had to learn the patience. patience. And right. when I did that telephone ring, Hallelujah. and I started jumping <laughs> for joy. I you did. But I want you to know one thing. You can be positive and passionate and persistent and patient, uh -huh. but if you don't have P-Factor number five, uh -oh. you're in trouble. Uh -oh. Be prayerful. Oh, oh Lord! Yes. Now, I, yes. hey, I'll, okay. I, you know, everybody got their belief, oh, but I yes. believe in the power oh, of prayer. Yes. All right. And my Definitely. mother used to tell me, "Little prayer, little power. <laughs> no prayer, no <laughs> power. Uh -huh. Much prayer, much, much power. power. Hallelujah! Somebody <laughs> pray for me. Oh yes, and I'm sure somebody pray for you. Oh, you know they did because you know the prayers of the righteous avail much, much, and we oh, gotta yes. understand that oh, there is power yes. in prayer. Definitely. I've seen so many things change in my life. What Oh life. my! Yeah, I mean, with the power of prayer. I thank for a praying mother. Mm. Thank you know, you. I mean, and mm. and now that she's gone, I have praying sisters. They always tell me, "Girl, you, I keep you in my prayers." They know I'm a long way from home, <laughs> and all. And I and I like that. Mm -hmm. I want that prayer, and I pray for others, just like. They pray for me, I pray for others. Mm -hmm. I pray for them and I pray for others as mm -hmm. well. And so prayer is very important. Because when we pray, we don't should not see it as a selfish act, just praying mm -hmm. for us. Exactly. But if we begin to pray for others and exactly. intercede for others, then God will know our heart is not oh, just yes. about us. But what and is he prayer? will begin to bless us. But, but what, is, mm -hmm. what is prayer? Well, prayer is submitting, submitting yourself okay. to the one and only. Okay. And letting God know what we have. All we have to do is go to God in prayer yes. and petition him. Oh yes. And he will answer our prayer. Yes. And as I remember, you know, sometimes he'll say yes, sometimes he'll say no, mm -hmm. sometimes he'll say wait. Mm -hmm. But he will answer our oh, prayers. Yes. Oh, yes. And I am so reminded that I had a sister on my spot. I've gone through so mm. much. And without these P factors, I don't know where I'd be. God gave me the P factors. Oh, yes. And so every one of them has helped me because I had a sister on my spine. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I could remember I was so distraught because they thought I could be paralyzed after the oh, surgery. Wow. I mean, I had gotten so out of where I was supposed to be. You know, sometimes as Christians, we got to take a checkup from the yes. neck up. <laughs> we begin to forget the things that God oh, told yes. us. Uh -huh. So I'm beginning to say, oh, God, I don't know whether I'm going to even make it out of this mm -hmm. surgery. I lost lost all my P factors mm. and started getting real nervous about right. everything. Right. And uh, then I even went to see the lawyer to change the will so oh. that if I died doing the mm -hmm. surgery, my oh. husband might not get in the house. And <laughs> I didn't want some other woman to get him. You know, my husband laughed. He said, honey, you can't be dead and jump at the same time. Amen. So I decided, you know, enough of that. Let me go to God. In That's prayer. exactly so right. So I just That's fell on my knees and I cried out to the Lord. I said, Lord, forgive me, number one, oh, for yes. dying. Oh, yes. Because you said it's impossible mm -hmm. to please you without oh, yes. having that faith. That's right. So I just ask that you give me power right now, God, and have the attitude to get through this surgery mm -hmm. and bring me through. Oh, yeah. I prayed that prayer for a few days and I could remember the day of the surgery. I got up early that moment uh -huh. early, uh -huh. with all kind of power that oh, God had given me. God. And that's going to be the next P factor. Okay. But because of that prayer, uh -huh. I was saying I got a cyst on my spine, but I'm going to do just fine because okay. Jesus got my back. Hallelujah. <laughs> and the prayer gave me P factor number six. And that I is. ended up with power. Power. All right. Power. power. I mean, hey, what you call wonder working power. Well, I'm on high. Faster <laughs> than oh, a yeah. speed of bullet. <laughs> more powerful than a local <laughs> dog. Okay. And a leap in the air is in a single back. <laughs> so be positive, be passionate, be persistent, be patient, be prayerful. And, and you will have, have power. power. Have
Hallelujah. I mean, how many of us have gone through circumstances and we begin to turn it over to mm -hmm. God and pray about it and we get power from oh, on high. Yes. Money starts coming and oh, we don't hallelujah. even know it's on its way. <laughs> wow. right? Bills get paid. Oh, you know yes. what I'm saying? Oh, yes. People that had the doors closed begin to open doors. Wow. That's mm -hmm. the power of mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. in our life. Mm -hmm. So whatever we do, understand that if we work those P factors, are oh, y'all yes. excited oh, about them? Really Can y'all tell now that they're in that pressure oh, cooker yes. and we're almost oh, done because yes. we hit number oh, six? Yes. But look at the powerful people in this country. I mean, I'm not endorsing a candidate or anything like that. Uh, but I was just thinking in terms of Barack Obama is powerful for African American man now to, to get elected to, in, oh, yes. in terms of certain primaries oh, and so forth yes. and so on in this country. I mean, when you can look at that, you know that the power of prayer oh, has yes. worked Very in so, so many lives of great leaders outside of him. Mm -hmm. All over the world, you see testimonies oh, yes. of folk whose lives have been changed, people who have been healed, mm -hmm. drug addicts who have come out of drugs, all kind of folk mm -hmm. because of the power of oh, prayer. God. I can look at oh, my yes. life. Come no, on now. Definitely. Hello. Hello. I know you got a testimony oh, over there, Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> the, I mean, oh I know God. that I'm being interviewed here, but give me one of them, uh, oh, you know, oh those key God. nuggets oh, from my Lord. I am so thankful that of uh, being delivered from being suicidal. Just wanted to take my own life. Didn't mm. feel love. Mm. Uh, the love that the, the love that um, uh, my family had for me couldn't penetrate the wall that I set up. Mm. Right. Mm. And so only the only prayer. Come by on. those oh, on the yes. outside, praying mm -hmm. for me on the inside mm -hmm. of my little wall, mm -hmm. could penetrate that. And so the love of God penetrated that and delivered me from any ill feelings and thoughts that should not have been in the first place. Oh, Amen. Great. And see, that's what that power will give you because what the devil does is he puts that fear on us mm -hmm. and, oh, yes. and he gives us that F-E-A-R, mm -hmm. false mm -hmm. evidence mm -hmm. appearing real. real. Mm -hmm. And so we got to get delivered from that. Oh, and once yes. we pray, God gives us power to just step up to him oh, and say, yes. get thee behind me, Satan. Exactly. I don't know what you're talking Hello. about. But you know what? Every day we got to be in doubt with all those people. Oh, yes. 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 Because yes. every day there's something that's coming at us because our mind, you know, is a battlefield. Yes. Mm -hmm. And things are going on and oh. there's those two drawers there, one positive, one negative. Yeah. And that <laughs> negative drawer is trying to take, take up our time. time. But yes. we've got to use those P factors as a gatekeeper oh, mm -hmm. yes. to say, get away from That's me. Right. Because with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Because mm -hmm. he says in his words, right, that, you know, he has given us the power. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Power in a situation that we feel that we just can't do nothing about. We turn it over to him. Mm -hmm. He's going to work it out. Oh, yes, all the time. And what he's going to do? Jesus, mm -hmm. man, I'm, I'm ready to <laughs> shout up in here, you know. But then we get this last P fight. I, I don't know about y'all, but uh -oh. I'm ready to come up out the chair. I'm holding on. <laughs> number seven. What's number seven? You will be prosperous. 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 <laughs> And, and right. I want you to know now, a lot of folk think that that means money, but that's not just what it's all about. Because there need. are folk right now today that got all the money in the world and they're not happy. Hello. But prosperity is about joy. Uh -huh. It's oh, about yes. peace. Oh, it's yes. about love. Oh, you know what I'm yes. saying? It's about having money to go with it. Oh, that's yeah. all right. Oh, you're not liking it. Yeah. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. But when you got prosperity mm -hmm. in your life, mm -hmm. your life will begin to change. You oh, know? Yes. I mean, I look at the news media today and so many negative things oh, are going on goodness. there. Uh -huh. yes. And then when people begin to put on that power of the Lord and put those P factors in their life, oh, yes. they just don't understand. Mm -hmm. They'll get a prosperity mm -hmm. that comes upon them and they will be more joyful than they've ever been. Oh, ever yes. been. Because it'll make you say this joy <laughs> that I had, the world <laughs> didn't <laughs> give it to me and the world can't, can't take, take it away. away. I mean, right now I got situations I'm going through in my life and they seem like, how is she going to get through? Oh. Well, I got the P <laughs> factors working okay. in the pressure okay. And I'm going to keep on stirring them up. <laughs> and soon and very soon, oh, yeah. that pressure cooker soon. top is going to start jumping. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to come out as a true p <laughs> So I just challenge everybody today, no matter who you are, oh, yeah. where you might be, mm. just get those P-factors together. Mm. Be positive. Be passionate. Be persistent, mm. be patient, mm. be prayerful, mm. be powerful, mm. and you Prosper. will be prosperous. Hallelujah. You know, I used to tell folk when I was growing up, you know, my daddy died early, and I and I remember holding on to my dad in so many of my circumstances because people told us that we weren't going to make it. Mm. But there was one little poem that he would recite to me outside mm. of the word of God and prayer. Mm -hmm. He would say, somebody said, that it couldn't be done. Uh -huh. But she would have chuckled replied that maybe it couldn't, but she would be one <laughs> who wouldn't say no till she tried. Uh -huh. So I buckled right in with a bit of a grin. And if I worried, I hid it. 
And I started to sing as I tackled that thing that couldn't be done. And with God's help, I did it. Oh, and I yeah. tell all my friends, with the P Factor, I'll see you at the T.O.P. Because wow. that's where God wants all of us to, to be. be. Woo! I've got to have a P-Factor day. Hey, great. you got and that right. And have a P-Factor life. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. So, Lady D. Woo! That was, oof. Was that powerful oh, or not? Very powerful. And you know, that's a very. P too powerful. Oh, well, that's one of the You know that's what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And guess what her last name is? It's what? close to that power. Wow. It's close to power. Hey, guess what she's wearing? P. P. That's right. P. She's got all the P's. All over the place, right? Well, certainly, Pam Paul, thank you for electrifying our uh, our thought, our, our life, our, uh, challenging us to, 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 to step up and become passionate, to become powerful, prayerful, persistent, patient, all that all th that will equal prosperity in our lives. We appreciate that. Lady D, one final word from you? I, I want to be all of those. I'm searching for, you know, I grab a little here and a little there, but like you said, when you put them all in the pot and mix them all oh together. Oh, do you come Oh, up. my goodness. Come so forth is pure gold. That's, hey, that's right. That's what I'm talking you about. You know, sometimes we got to go And I hope oven. our TV audience yes. is taking down all those P factors. <laughs> that's something for you to strive for and reach for. Exactly. Wonderful. Well, we want you to know that it has been our pleasure being with you. I know that you can't be looking at your situation the exact same way that you did when you first turned uh, tuned in. I know you can't be down the dumps and wonder mm -hmm. how you're going to come out. No, just I uh, remember the P factors and allow them to just change your life. It will change your perspective and when your perspective is changed, your whole life will change. Nobody will party with someone who is pitiful. Come on and get, you know, come on, get happy, yes. become passionate, become joyful, and people will work with you. We want you to know that uh, Pam Paul can be contacted, email us. You're going to see our information at the very end. Email us, do whatever, you know, contact us, and we'll be happy to put you in a connection with her. We have her book. She's, she's here. Uh, she's touchable. She's a person who will reach out and love to you. And we just want you to know that whatever you're going through, no matter what, God is greater than that, and we challenge you to trust him to change your life and to change you. Until next time, we love you. God's blessings be upon you, and always remember, be what? Positive. Positive. Right. Be, be what? Passionate. Be passionate. Be what? Be persistent. What else? Be patient. What else? Be prayerful. What else? Be powerful. And, and you will be prosperous. Awesome. Because weeping may endure for a night. But, but joy is coming in the, in the morning. morning. God we love brilliant. you. God bless you. Bye bye. Take care. Thank powerful, you. powerful, powerful, Thank powerful. You. Wow. Wonderful. I love I'm just looking by what you were saying. <laughs>